Hello and congratulations on being close to the close of week three of AC4420 Corporate Tax Accounting, where we have talked about an analysis of the effects of tax incentives on business investment decisions. We have completed the work down here. If you haven't completed anything, make sure that everything is updated and done as of the close of the week, which is on Sunday. And if you can't get everything in by Sunday, if you're running into a time constraint, Make sure to take the quiz. We cannot generally make up the quiz unless there's some kind of unusual circumstance, in which case we would take that on a case-by-case -case basis. The assignments and the homework, however, can often be turned in late, and you can lose points for late work, but we have a little bit more leeway in order to pick up some late work on the assignments and the homework. So make sure to pick up the midterm in this case. It's going to be worth the most amount of points, and then uh, make sure to pick up the assignments and homework. But if you run into a time constraint, uh, we can have a bit more leeway on that. Uh, going into week four, we will be covering acquisitions, mergers, and liquidations. So we're going to talk about the tax consequences of those, tax strategies and planning for those events. And those events, although they don't happen all the time, they're fairly more rare events. They do require a lot of planning, which is involved. They're going to require a lot more tax strategy, which is involved in that. And when we, when we think about how to consolidate uh, types of businesses, how to bring them together, how we're going to report taxes for multiple entities that are related, uh, that can give us a good insight in terms of how the tax code works, as well as when we liquidate. It's, it becomes very important to liquidate something and close up a company properly. And looking at the process of both putting the company together gives us an idea of what the company is, how it's actually built, as well as dismantling it, taking it apart, and how would we break it up gives us a good idea of the pieces of the company so even though those two types of transactions don't happen all the time they are types of transactions that give us a good insight into how the pieces are put together how you know something is formatted and how it could be taken uh, apart congratulations on being close to the close of week three